Hi, I'm Tanner with Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a used inventory living quarters. This is a 2004 Hart four horse living quarters. It's a great little trailer, still got a lot of life left in it. You know, these older Harts, they were built really, really well. It's kind of when horse trailers started becoming, you know, changing from the old just run around kind of rinkety dink beat up, let's go to the show trailer. They really started building trailers with a lot of quality and this is one of those trailers. So you'll see just how clean it is being a 2004 and just how well it's constructed as we walk around it. We'll start up here kind of at your short or your living quarter wall here. Right here in front of your entry door on this living quarter it is your fresh water fill to fill that onboard water tank if you're taking water with you. Below that is your city water connection. If you're parking somewhere that has a water hookup you can run a hose directly to that open the valve on your faucet and it'll just keep fresh water flowing through this trailer. You don't have to worry about using your fresh water onboard tank. Here's your entry door into your living quarter area. This is a 10-4 living quarter. Down low we do have an entry step but we're froze shut this morning on a couple doors. Um, but you will have an entry step that'll pull out give you a nice easy step up into your living quarter. In this living quarter area again it's a 10-4 short wall. Behind me over here is kind of your kitchen area. You're gonna have your kitchen sink. You're going to have your cooktop with your matching countertop cover. And again, keep in mind, this is a 2004, so it's got a lot of cool stuff in it for being almost 20 years old now. Up above that, we do have your Samsung microwave. Below that, we have your hood vent for your cooktop right here. We will have your lights, and you will have 120 outlets, again, above kind of your kitchen area if you wanna run a coffee maker, stuff like that. Behind me again is your sleeping area. Um, it's got this really cool wardrobe layout design up there. It's not your typical two door. You're gonna have double wardrobes on each side with kind of a shelf back in the middle to kind of throw phones, throw water, throw whatever you need to sleep in up there out of the way so that way you're not losing it in your bed. But another thing I wanna point out, with this trailer being as old as it is, you'll notice just how deep this gooseneck is and how much headroom you will have sleeping. That's one of our biggest complaints on our newest living quarters is we kind of shrink those noses up to be able to fit your bigger trucks, but when we do that, you lose a lot of sleeping space. So you can see just how much sleeping space or headroom you're gonna have in this bed area as compared to newer trailers, which might work out for you well. You have your cabinet up here to the left of your bed, as well as your full overhead cabinets over your couch. You're gonna have plenty of storage in this trailer for it, only being a 10-4 short, short wall. And then of course, below that cabinet, we do have your sofa sleeper. This will fold out into a foldable bed. You can sleep someone on there really easily. It folds out, you just pull on it. Um, I don't have it folded out right now because I wanted to show you guys this removable table here in the middle. That's one of the biggest uh, problems we have with these smaller short walls is you want a couch usually in a smaller short wall so you can sleep more people if you need to, be a little more comfortable than just a dinette, but then you kind of lose an eating space. So in this trailer, it does have a removable table. It's gonna pop directly out of the floor like that. Your pipe will come out of the bottom of this. Maybe, I got gloves on so I can't get a good grip. And you can store that out of the way. Just have an open couch. That way you can pull that table down, set it up if you're gonna eat in here, um, cook in here, need a little more counter space, you can use all that frequently. Um, but then again, if you do need to sleep someone, it's as easy as that to fold that out into a little bed. You can store bedding in a cub cabinet, blankets, whatever, make this bed in two seconds. And then again, haul more people easily in a smaller little trailer like this. We'll kind of move down this back wall into the bathroom area. We do have an oversized fridge, which is not super common in older trailers. Usually in an older trailer, you're gonna get your typical mini fridge style, three cubic feet with your little tiny freezer in it. So it's really cool that this older trailer does have a full fridge down low, as well as your freezer portion up high. So again, super cool. You will also get some storage up above that as well to kind of hide some manuals and stuff out of the way that you're not gonna be using all the time. So moving to the bathroom area of this trailer, it is a full door. In this bathroom, we do have your toilet over here on your short wall side with your shower kind of tucked in the corner behind. So it's a really clean little looking setup and it kind of gives you a little more room in this bathroom. So you have your shower right here with these kind of sliding style doors to kind of save you room from having to swing a door out into the smaller bathroom space. So again, there's your shower. You will have a big cabinet here behind your toilet Again, storing linen, storing towels, whatever you need to store kind of while you're traveling, want to keep it out of the way, you'll have this nice area to do so. Looking at the vanity area of this trailer, you will have your big medicine cabinet up above your bathroom sink here. Again, storing Advil, stuff like that, all the necessities while you're traveling with horses. 
Down below, we do have a full porcelain sink. This is not plastic, that is porcelain. And it's a really deep sink, deeper than you're gonna see in most trailers, even nowadays. So it's really cool. We have that big sink in here. And then down below, again, we do have some more storage for you guys storing towels, paper towels, toilet paper, whatever you need to store in this trailer, you're gonna have plenty of storage to do so. Then as we move over here, again, a couple big wardrobes. This is where you're gonna hang the majority of your clothes, keep your jeans, you're gonna have a hanging rod up high. Down low, you'll also have a hanging rod, but you can easily stack a bunch of towels in there, fold clothes, put it on your carpeted decks, um, or just hang clothes in each one of these closets. They are deep enough that your shirts will not hit the bottom. So you have plenty of storage, and it's really cool that we have that amount of storage in such a small little living quarter setup. And of course, lastly, before I walk out of here, we do have your towel rack hanging high on the wall to kind of air your towels out. And then up top, we do have an electric fan to kind of pull some steam out of here if you are showering or if you want some fresh air pulled in. You can turn it on reverse and pull some air in here for you guys. So as you can see, I mean, it's a really little clean 10-foot short wall, part living quarter. I mean, this thing's almost 20 years old, but it shows really, really well. It's a really clean trailer, um, and it's going to serve someone a great purpose for years to come. Now we're gonna focus more on the actual trailer side of this trailer. Moving down your hip wall of this trailer, you're gonna have four tie rings positioned next to your big four sliding type bus windows. So 50% of these bus windows are gonna open or 50% of the whole window will open up. Really maximize that airflow coming through this trailer. You can open all of them if you want, a couple of them if you want. We like to give you guys options or you have options on these trailers as far as you know how to keep your climate where your horses want it or where you want it to be for your horses while you're traveling. Down low, we have two 7,000 pound axles. These are steel wheels with the aluminum simulator caps for your hubs. Um, we went ahead, these are brand new tires on this trailer, so you guys don't have to worry about going ahead and doing in that. Um, we've also packed bearings on this trailer. We've checked brakes, all your lighting's been checked, all your hinges have been checked. Everything on this trailer has been ran through, full, through our shop, fixed, repaired, replaced, whatever we can do to get these trailers as like new as possible for you guys. As we come to your load side of this trailer, it is a 60-40 split with a folding rear tack. So again, your folding rear is gonna be on your left side. You're gonna have bridle hooks up high, a little brush tray on this door. You will have your three-tier saddle rack with your blanket bars up top. Cool thing about it is if you're not using this for horses and say you wanna go off-roading in a UTV, maybe help someone move out of their house, anything like that, it's real simple. You can remove this saddle rack, fold this wall all the way over, and you will get full access to the whole width of this trailer to load, offload stuff, make it a little easier for you guys. But as we walk through this trailer, just keep in mind, again, 20-year-old trailer, um, look how clean it is in here. The floor is clean, the walls are clean. It is a really, really clean older trailer. About as clean as I've seen for a trailer being 20 years old. So as we jump up in this tra trailer, it is rubber mats over aluminum floor. You will have your padded partial dividers in the back and you'll have your hanging rubber mat stud wall in your front stall. These are slam style kind of latches, so it's pretty cool again on a 20 year old trailer. This is pretty much similar to the same latch mechanisms we're using in our newer Cimarron's or even our Logan coaches, where you don't have to pull leverage, you don't have to worry about anything. You get your horse position, and then you can just slam that and it's gonna stay tucked over there nice and tight. The other cool thing they did, especially with it being 20 years old, um, Four Star sells like a quiet ride system. We do a system on our trailers where anything is gonna be latched, it's gonna hit metal on plastic. So with this being that old, they kind of kept this same concept. A lot of the older trailers you're gonna see, they're metal on metal latches. Heart, in this heart, it is metal on plastic. So this latch is gonna hold up a lot, lot longer than um, metal on metal wheel. It's gonna stay quieter for your horses. That latch is never gonna weaken. And again, it's just a super cool that we have these kind of features on an older trailer. Your rear divider in this trailer, it is a telescoping type. So again, if you are folding that tack wall over and you wanna use the full width of this trailer, you can pull your lever here, telescope this bar inside itself. You can latch all your dividers over that wall. That way you can shut your back doors even when you're not running that folding rear tack. So move up into the trailer. It is a manger trailer, so you will have your mangers on the outside of this trailer, um, which also gives you these nice deep feed bunks on the inside. So it's really easy to feed your horses. Um, whether it be from the outside or inside, you can easily drop these drop windows, check on your horses, feed your horses, grain your horses, do whatever you need to do while you're traveling safely from the outside of the trailer. And as you move into kind of this front stud stall with that rubber bottom portion, you do have a nice big escape door on that front portion. I like that we went ahead and we lipped this with rubber right here. So that way if in an emergency or anything like that, if you need to jump a horse off here, 
they're not having to get past that six inch gap. And at the same time, you're not tripping over that gap. You have a nice little ramp to offload and unload stuff out of this front stall, which 90% of the time you're hauling a four horse, you're not gonna be hauling the full four horses. So it is nice to have this front stall for storage and stuff like that. Up top, we will have your four two-way roof vents. So again, you can position these to pull fresh air into this trailer or pull air out of this trailer. You're gonna be getting tons of air from those big drop windows on the front side of this trailer. So you can pull a bunch of air in and have it flow out through your bus windows and your roof ends and keep that nice, clean, cool air flowing over your horses in the warm summer months. Your hip wall, we do have your lights here for your stalls. So again, you can power those on from the rear of the trailer. Have a nice light in here to see what you're doing while you're loading horses, if you're loading in early morning or late nights, or if you just wanna give your horses some light to be able to see what they're doing, where they're standing. You wanna give them some light while, you're, while they're eating, while you're feeding them. You do have the option to do that in this trailer. Up top, above your uh, folding rear tack here, we do have an L uh, LED spotlight. It's gonna cast a nice beam out here. So again, loading horses early morning, late night, it's gonna give you guys plenty of light to be able to see what you guys are doing while you're loading. Also give your horses plenty of light to see what they're doing, help you guys avoid some accidents. Coming down the head side of this trailer, we do have those big drops that will go to those mangers in the inside. So again, if you're wanting to feed your horses from the outside of this trailer, it's as easy as dropping this jail bar you have full access to that manger tray right here. You can toss hay in, you can grain them, you can tie and untie your horses all from the outside of the trailer. It's a really cool setup. I really like doing mangers on trailers. And the cool thing that Hart does on their mangers is this is a generator equipped trailer. Your back manger door on this portion will have that Cummins Own in 4000 that's gonna power this whole trailer for you guys. And again, every manger door is gonna run off these pistons. It's a really cool system and it's really, I, you really only ever see it, you know, that one's froze up. You really only ever see it on Hart trailers, that one's froze up too, um, where they run their gas piston to hold that door up. A lot of major doors you're gonna see are gonna have a lever type where that door swings open. It's gonna fight you back. It's gonna swing closed on you sometimes. So these are really cool doors and I actually really, really like them on these Hart trailers that they flip up and that piston holds them up out of the way. You're not having to fight off a door with an arm while you're trying to pull stuff out of your mangers. So you do have that coming zone into the back too and then you will have two deep mangers here to store stuff as well. Just a little cold this morning. We wash them every morning so they tend to freeze up if we let them sit too long. Again, here's a better view of that escape door leading to that first stud stall. So. If you're storing hay in there, grain in there, it's really easy to get in. You're gonna have a little step cleat here to give you a little access. If you are carrying something heavy, it's gonna give you a little leverage point to kind of get heavy stuff up into that front stall of this trailer. You will have another big drop, just like your other drops for your back three stalls in your escape tour too. So you can always drop that, get some nice air flowing for that front horse. Down low, next to your escape door on this trailer, it is your 30 amp plug. So again, if you're not running that generator or you're somewhere that has hookups, you can easily plug into this trailer to shore power, whether it be at a campground, rodeo grounds, anything like that. Plug your cord in, you're gonna have power to this trailer, power your AC, furnace, everything in that living quarter side will be powered by that plug right there. This is gonna be your access to the backside of your fridge. If you ever need to service your fridge, anything goes long. And then here is the exhaust vent for your furnace, which is positioned underneath that fridge. Here's where you get to your hot water heater. If you guys ever need to service your hot water heater, or if you're winterizing and dewinterizing this trailer, that's where your plug will be as well. As you move up to the front side of this trailer, underneath we have your dual 20 pound propane tanks. Up above that, we have your double battery box here. It has a cool cutoff switch. Um, you can either select which battery you wanna use, select that you wanna use both batteries, or if you want the batteries cut off. And that's super handy especially because if you're going to park this trailer and not use it for a couple days, you just turn it to off. You don't have to worry about your di batteries dying. It kills all the power coming from the batteries. Over to the left of that, we do have your hydraulic jack, which will be operated by a button over here by the batteries. And as you'll see, we put brand new batteries on this trailer too, so you shouldn't have to worry about your batteries going bad for a couple years. And then next to that hydraulic jack, it is your mount for your spare tire and wheel to this trailer. And as we finish off kind of up here at the front, again, it is a two and five sixteenths ball, your safety chain and your breakaway cable. And again, breakaway brake system has been fully serviced through our shop as well as the brakes, bearings, everything like that. So it has been fully run through. If you're interested in this used living quarter, again, it's a 2004 Hart four horse living quarter, stock number 5U221708. It's a great little trailer. I think it's gonna bring 
whoever buys this trailer a lot of joy for years to come. It's a clean, clean little trailer with a lot of life still left in it. If you're interested in this trailer, again, give me a call. My name's Tanner here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.